So I got a news story here for you guys. It's not that big, but I decided to make a video on it because it has potential. It just all depends on how it's received by the progressive voters and Bernie voters that are now voting for Hillary. To give you a little rundown, there was some hacked audio from an email that leaked and it was basically Hillary Clinton at a private fundraising event mocking a lot of progressive ideas and kind of patronizing Bernie supporters. This was actually on the day that Bernie endorsed her, but it was before he actually did it. So she was saying all this stuff before he actually was on her side. The person in the picture is Beatrice Welter. She was the organizer of this fundraiser. I don't... She doesn't have that much to do with it, but I figured I'd include her just to give you all the details. So I'm just going to play the things I'm going to be talking about. The whole thing is like an hour long, so I'll give you a link in the description if you actually want to go through and listen to all of that, but I'm just going to save you the trouble. They're children of the Great Recession, and they are living in their parents' basement. So as a friend of mine said the other day, I am occupying from the center left to the center right, and I don't have much company uh, there. And on the other side, it, there's a just a deep desire to believe that you know we can uh, have free college, free health care. That what we've done hasn't gone far enough, and we just need to you know go as far as you know Scandinavia, um, whatever that means. And half the people don't know what it means, but it is something that they deeply uh, feel. So the first thing she said that I want to focus on is that a friend of hers said that the other day I'm occupying from the center left to the center right and I don't have much company there. She's basically saying that she has a lot of center left policies and a lot of center right policies and she's basically the only candidate there. Which is actually kind of true and I'll just get this out here right now. I actually think, ironically, that this speech she gave was one of the ones where she's being the most honest person she is. Like, she's actually saying what she probably thinks and not just pandering to people. And I honestly would have more respect for her if she actually talked like this at her rallies instead of just saying whatever lies or promising whatever to everyone to get votes. But she is pretty shady and I really don't like her, but I'm just saying I would respect her more if she talked like this. So anyways, I don't think this will go down too well with the progressive voters, especially since she's been campaigning with Bernie a lot. I mean, she's trying to pick up as many Bernie votes as she can before the election, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, anyone that wins the primaries is going to go after their opponent's voters. It's just what happens, but lately she's been talking a lot of more progressive ideals, and I'm 100% sure she's doing that just to get the votes, but I mean, that's pretty obvious. So the second thing I caught, it's not specifically this one, but I think this one illustrates it best. She's just being kind of condescending to a lot of Bernie voters. I mean, she's saying that they're all children of the Great Recession and they're living in their parents' basement, and I mean... <laughs> That can be 100% true, but I mean, she's talking to a bunch of rich people, a bunch of upper class. She definitely wouldn't be saying this out loud. She only says these things in private events where no one can hear her, which I don't think is the best thing. This is like, this is reminiscent of uh, Mitt Romney when he said that 47% of Americans are, I forget what he actually said, but that leaked audio actually really hurt him last election. So last but definitely not least, she's down here talking negatively about progressive ideas, and if you know me, you know I'm not the most progressive person in the world, which, so this wouldn't even be a problem if anyone said this. I mean, this is a legitimate opinion she has. The problem is she's going around with Bernie praising these ideas in public. But in private, she's talking down to them, saying they're pretty much impossible. And as if by magic, not only two days ago, she released a tuition-free college plan, which I think is amazingly ironic, considering not even two or three months ago, she basically said that free healthcare and free college is impossible. So it's just really condescending in the end. I mean, she would never say this in public. She would only say this at a private event. She's basically saying that they're kids that don't know what they're doing. They just feel like they should 
emulate Scandinavia or these other European countries. And again, that's a legitimate opinion. I mean, I've heard it all the time. That's a lot of what Trump supporters said or people on the right say that it is impossible. But the thing is, she's going around with Sanders right now promoting free college. So basically, she did a 180 on that. To just wrap it up, she basically says something really different in private events opposed to what she says in public. She talks really condescendingly towards Bernie supporters. She rips on a lot of very progressive ideas. <laughs> and kind of ironically, it seems to be one of her most honest speeches. Unfortunately, it was just given at a private event. So yeah, this could be a big thing. It couldn't be a big thing. I mean, it just depends on how Bernie voters are going to react to it. I'm sure the ones that hopped on Hillary's side won't be too happy about this. It's just all gonna come down to how well it's received by them. I mean, I know they have a huge online presence, so there might be a lot of blowback from this, or it might just be a dud. Whatever it is, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Now which way do we go is the question to ask. There are so many choices that it's